What's going on guys? It's Ish back at it. We have a lot to talk about. Last time I went ahead and made a vlog. It's been a very, very long time. You guys missed a lot of information. You guys haven't seen a lot of things behind the scenes that we added to the team. So yeah guys, welcome back. See, I think we got one. Okay, real quick, another thing I want to say is I had a bet. Before you guys go and get introduced to the team, I had a bet with the sales team, and they said that if they break a record month for July, they want a trip somewhere. <laughs> they broke the record. Okay, so they broke the freaking record, and now we're all going to Maldives, and we're all going to freaking ride jet skis and go on the beach in the sunset. So, I mean, yeah, so they earned it. You know, there's nothing else I could do. Honestly, they earned the freaking the trip, so... I just booked six of the team members plus me, so seven people, a trip to freaking Maldives. So we're gonna go hear them brag about it while I freaking lost the bet. So it was all expense paid by me, by the way, guys. But I wanna show you guys a little tour of uh, the office space. So uh, there's a lot of things that you guys missed. So right now, guys, we're doing podcasts. We have an official podcast. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out, link in the description, guys. It's a sick podcast. And we talk about some really cool stuff. This is a virtual screen, like a monitor, that we're gonna be doing virtual podcasts with. So there's gonna be a person basically standing here while on the screen, real time, while we're doing the podcast. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna be doing some virtual podcasts and it's gonna look really cool. You guys already seen the neon sign, it looks really awesome. You have to see it before you believe it. You guys already seen that, guys. We got the white lights right here. These were also a couple, you know, hundred dollars. That's a really sick gaming laptop. So the editing team wanted laptops for their team. So they didn't like the Apple stuff. They didn't want to take part of the Mac minis and the MacBooks and all that stuff. They said they want something strong. So here you go. We got some strong stuff. I don't even know what this is, honestly, but it's a strong freaking laptop. Maybe you guys know it's like an Asus or something like that. It has a really cool graphics card in it. Core i7. Same thing for the other one right here. It's pretty, pretty strong. Right now it was optimized for the podcast so we got to fix it up but right now this is a strong gaming laptop too the process is really fast i'm not gonna lie but also we got two other mac minis as well so we got another one right here as you guys can see there's the setup and then we have another one right here we have so much technology that people can't even use it there's not enough time we have actually like four ipads macbooks i haven't even opened this macbook yet this is like a macbook i mean should i give it away or something like that this is a MacBook that no one even has touched yet. I bought it and no one touched it. It's an M1 MacBook. So yeah, guys, a lot of stuff you guys missed. We got iPads. We got so many things in the office. Now it's just time to expand and make some really good money. Let's get it. Okay, guys, I hate all of you so freaking much. But the sales team hit the record of the month, okay? They did it. I'm not telling you guys what the record was, but it's a lot of freaking money. You guys definitely proved me wrong. And you guys did what you did. You know, I'm impressed. I'm proud. I don't know what else to say. You guys definitely proved me wrong. I did not think you guys had it in you, but you guys did. And for that reason, we're going to Maldives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to Maldives. Pack your guys' bags. Make sure you got your swimming trunks, your sunscreen. I don't know if you even need it. You're already dark, you know. But, uh, <laughs> That's what you Yeah, but uh, sorry, Faison. You can't go. Why? I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, bro. The passport people said that your passport is too close to the expiration date, so you can't go, bro. I'm sorry. But next time when we do go, I'll make sure you get the VIP treatment, okay? You get the first class ticket. You get the first class ticket, okay? Yes, sir. I get the first class ticket today, but next time, it's on you, okay? We're going to the winter break as well, right? Yeah, we're going somewhere on the winter break too, but if you guys satisfy me, if there's dissatisfaction or if something happens, Trust, bro. Trust. No, worries, bro. no worries, bro. Okay, so let's get back to work. Let's finish off the day. We're leaving tomorrow night. We're leaving for six days. We'll come back, get to work. We'll do some work there, so we'll make some money while we're there too. That's gonna be the best life. So let's get it started. Let's do it. Yes, sir. What's up, 
Flies and Smiles here along with Zane. Going to Maldives. The trip came up on us, bro. Like, this wasn't planned beforehand. It just got planned and we're flying out tomorrow night. Ish, big shout out to you, my brother. You're the one hooking us up with this. All thanks to us, bro. Like, we're the ones locking in the cash. And the cash is taking us to Maldives. Yeah, guys. The team is crushing it, bro. I'll be honest, man. Everyone's doing so good. When I started this company, I did not think I would ever be able to take, you know, a whole team out to Maldives and be able to pay for all-inclusive payments for everything in the team. So, like, that's pretty wild that I'm able to get in this position to do those kind of things. Just in general, guys, believe in yourself when you're, you know, out there trying to chase your dream. Because, like... Dude, if you told myself like three years ago that I'll be able to do this and I'll have this much money and you know I'll be a millionaire by 22, like, dude, are you crazy or something like that? I would literally look at you and like just laugh because I thought it was a prank or something like that. But things come true when you work hard and you really, you know, work smart and understand that it's a marathon, not a sprint. So guys, if anyone's watching this and feels inspired, you know, definitely know that this is a time to get started with this kind of system. Like, I'm not here to like, you know, lie to you guys. You guys see, you know, the office space. Like, we do legitimate work. We're not here to, you know, just freaking run a Ponzi scheme. We're doing legitimate work that, you know, makes a lot of money. This is all from my mind. Everything that these people are doing are strategies that I put in place. I know what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to get started or anything like that with the whole marketing agency and how to start one, I have literally this 18 year old kid making so much money right now because he started and he's freaking just listened to what I had to say and you know took the advice and listened to it. And now he's making like, I would say $20,000, $25,000 a month just off the marketing agency as a single member, like just one guy. So yeah, guys, I mean, it's definitely possible if you work hard, if you're interested in that, just send me a DM on Insta Trapper. You know, we'll get you connected and we'll get you signed up and we'll start making you get some real money. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to give you guys a little, you know, tour of the office, what's been going on and everything like that. It's been really successful, guys. So I hope you guys tune into the podcast too. It's gonna be really fun. Other than that, guys, make sure you drop a comment on what you want to see next. Do you want us to vlog Maldives or not? Drop a comment if you want us to. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And it's ish. We don't. We aren't. Neither of us is a doctor. Neither one of our advisors you should be taking to heart. You do what you want to do, bro. <laughs> so I want to ask you, bro. Are you vaccinated? No. And I'll tell you exactly why, bro. They're so thirsty for it. These guys, Joe Biden. The, the the all these all these like you know governors and stuff like that's so thirsty for it like i get it bro i'll get vaccinated when i get vaccinated like why are you going to try to rush me why are you going to turn off my electricity if i don't get vaccinated and they're trying to give you money to get vaccinated it's free like it's kind of suspicious bro don't you think like they're trying to shove this vaccine down your throat so hard to the point where like they're just trying to do anything and everything for everyone to get vaccinated. Like, they want to get you vaccinated. They want to get you vaccinated. They'll do anything. They'll lose money because I'm sure they're losing money for giving everyone $100. Of course, it's our money at the end of the day, so they're giving our money back from taxes. But you're trying to tell me that you're trying to get me vaccinated and you're trying to do all these bad things to me. If I don't get vaccinated, I think something's up, bro. First of all, I want to say it's I, am, blackmailing. I, I am vaccinated 100%. So uh, other than that, on your point... You are a health risk if you aren't vaccinated. You, you might not get vac uh, You might not get the virus. You know, like you, you might have not got the virus at all throughout your throughout this period of uh, virus spreading. But you might be spreading the virus because you're healthy. But people that aren't healthy are getting exposed to the virus through you. Who 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 am I, who am I exposing to? I don't have anyone in my in my close. If if you're an anti-vaxer, are you? Uh, I'm not an anti-vaxer. Why, I, is, that, are you why an is that term out there, bro? Like I'm not an anti-vaxer. I've been vaccinated before. I got my Tdap and all those stuff when I was a kid. I got all those vaccines. I still do. And the, the fact that people call me an anti-vaxxer, I'm not even an anti-vaxxer. I get my vaccines and I get whatever is, is it's safe. This coronavirus vaccine came out in like six months, bro. The vaccines come out in like 10 years, five years, 10 years. Yeah, you're, tell, you're trying to tell me that this vaccine came out and all of a sudden you're supposed to take it and they're trying to shove it down your throat. You can't travel. You can't do this. You can't, your SIM gets blocked. Your SIM card gets blocked. All this stupid stuff. Bro, because you can't get technology is changing, my friend. Technology is changing. 10 years back, it might have taken you know, like a, a couple of years to produce a vaccine. But right now, the, vac the, the, the whole game has changed. There's RNA technology that they're using to develop RNA and then that put, and then putting that into the vaccine and then giving you the shots but people are still getting coronavirus after getting vaccinated buddy bro vaccination bro 
to the people that are hearing this, vaccination isn't the cure for COVID vac- for COVID virus. It isn't. It isn't the cure. It's a precautionary measure that you can just get vaccinated and have a lower chance of getting uh, infected by the virus that is I agree. spreading. I would love to get the vaccine, but not right now. You're tripping. Like I've seen so many reports of people getting so many different type of problems, and I've seen doctors coming out and saying that this this vaccine isn't safe for people. I've seen this. Like, I'm not just talking because I want to talk. I've seen this. And I'm, I'm just talking about what I've seen personally, what I've seen in my freaking my two eyes, what I've heard as well. You know, these people are talking about the vaccine and like, you know, myocarditis is coming involved, freaking Bell's palsy. Your half of your face is going to freaking fall off or something like that. It's going to get desensitized. And um, there's so many different type of problems that are coming with this vaccine. Johnson & Johnson just had to recall like a lot of their vaccines because